into two major categories. It's called a major sin and a minor sin. A major sin are those sins wherein which Allah has mentioned a punishment of. Allah has spoken of its severity. Allah has spoken of a, a, a severe punishment in this world and the hereafter or one of the two of them. That's called a major sin. For example, consumption of intoxicants, for example, the gambling, for example, adultery, and so on. Major sins. Even shirk billah is a major, major sin. Association of partners with Allah, major sin. And so, the other type of sin is a minor sin. And if you take a look at it, when you repeat a minor sin constantly, it automatically becomes major. Not that the sin is major, but the way you are committing it is major. One might argue, no, you know what, uh, washing pornography is a minor sin. Oh, are you sure it's a minor sin? Who told you that? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant everyone forgiveness. That's why the Prophet ﷺ says, people will continue to achieve goodness and the mercy of Allah and forgiveness for as long as the sin they may be committing is not done openly, publicly with pride and arrogance. When a man commits adultery quietly and he tiptoes into the home like no one should see him. It's a bad thing. It's a sin. It's a major sin. Yes, but it's not as bad as a person who openly sins in front of everyone. Oh, you know, that's my girlfriend. You know, it's okay. And we're walking and we're cruising and we're entering into a place where people know what's going to be happening. No, my brothers, my sisters, let's not give people reason to doubt us. Number one, and let's not doubt others. Number two. And if a person has to sin because of human weakness, Make sure it's not done publicly and make sure you are not proud of it. And don't ever get used to a sin. Don't get used to it because...